Hey guys, Ewan here, and we are starting this video with the Ronnie Coleman update. This is Ronnie, right now, with uh, Iris Kyle, who is actually 10 times Miss Olympia champion, and Ronnie is 8 times Mr. Olympia champion, so you can see 18 Mr. Olympia titles in this photo, as Ronnie stresses in his description of the photo, but the main thing I noticed here is Ronnie's size. And there is another photo I'm gonna show it to you, you're gonna see how big he actually is right now, but here you can see a little bit of his arms and shoulders, and they are definitely looking bigger than before. So apparently he is back to training, and he also looks healthier and younger, like in the face, right? Can you see it? He does look much younger here. He looks fresh, right? He looks healthy. He does look prettier now than before, so he's gotta be healthier. And I think I saw Generation Iron article, I didn't read it, though I can't find it now, but I think he was saying something about having less back pains or no back pain at all. And here's the second photo that I found very interesting too. Like, he looks huge right here. I mean, not as big as he was once for sure, but much bigger than any, any update that we saw in the past, I don't know how many years. And also, like, his neck looks bigger now, right? It, lo it looks like the old Ronnie Coleman, much more now. And he's standing in a lot of photos lately, so he's probably not even in the wheelchair that much anymore, and he's able to walk. I'm not sure exactly what is the case with his back, but it seems like he is getting back. He, he is back, sort of. Here he is having fun fishing and holding this fish that doesn't look very light, so apparently he is better. For sure he has to be better. At this point, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we see him squat or deadlift or something like that. Hopefully that's not gonna hurt him, but I can definitely see that happening in the near future. But it doesn't really matter, what matters is that Ronnie Coleman looks much better right now, that he is back. You can say Ronnie Coleman is back, he looks much bigger, much healthier, and here in this shirt especially, he looks big. You gotta admit that that looks better than this. And this is what we got used to seeing Ronnie Coleman lately. Now, he looks leaner in the face, right? He looks leaner and also more muscular, bigger. So, I'm not exactly sure what is going on in Ronnie Coleman's life right now, what is the deal with his surgeries, with his back, is it fully healed, is he gonna have to do any more surgeries? If any of you have any info, comment down below, but from what I can see right now from these posts, he looks bigger, healthier, younger even, for some reason, and he looks great right here in this photo and these two photos, so you can say that Ronnie Coleman is back. Can you imagine Steve Lorias being next Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> I mean, he does have the shape for it, I guess. He does have the sweep on the quads, that's absolutely crazy. He does have huge arms and small waist. I mean, in this shot, he reminds me of Ronnie a little bit in his younger days. So this is an update of Steve Lorius. Uh, he's crushing this offseason, this mass cycle, and I don't know which show he's gonna do first, but whichever he does, he's gonna be amazing. And it's absolutely insane to imagine that he's gonna be able to fit in classic physique. He looks absolutely huge. And here's the thing, he, he says this, I mean, his joints are super small, and that's why his physique looks so much bigger when he's standing alone. And you can see his wrists right there, they are looking tiny. And the waist, absolutely tiny, ridiculously tiny. So, he does have the shape of the muscle, he does have the right structure. And in these photos that he's posting, especially in the off-season, he looks like an open bodybuilder. But the caption of this video I did find interesting, so basically he was joking about uh, not doing classic anymore because he can't win a classic show and he's gonna do the open, he's gonna try the open, but of course he is just joking. Unfortunately, I would love to see him in the open, and when you're watching this posing video and all these photos, if you didn't know who he is, you would assume that he's doing the open, because he's absolutely massive. But I guess standing next to the other freaks, he wouldn't look that massive because it's mainly about the joints. And with this kind of joints, this guy can do wonders in classic physique. I don't know when he's gonna get in really good shape. Last time when he tried, he failed. Maybe this year around he's gonna be able to do that. And if he does that, it's gonna be probably game over for so many bodybuilders. I'm not saying I can see him winning the Mr. Olympia, but I can definitely see him in the top three. I can definitely see him beating Brian. And I can see him beating Terence Ruffin, for sure. I mean, Terence beat him at the Arnold Classic, but... Steve was not in shape, he was off, so I can definitely see him battling it out for the first part of the Mr. Olympia against Chris Bumstead, I can definitely see that. What do you guys think about Steve Lorris? The likelihood of seeing Steve in the open is just as big as the likelihood of seeing Patrick Moore in classic physique, because right here, right now, one week out of California Pro that he already won before, he is looking absolutely freaking massive. And he does look great, he does have that fresh look, 
and now he says he never peaked at a show. I don't know what that 2019 show at the Mr. Olympia was. Uh, I think he peaked perfectly for that show, but he is claiming he never did that, and he's gonna do that this weekend. But how can you be sure? Of course, he can't be sure, but it might happen. And he does look more improved this year than he was last year. So for 2019 to 2020, he made very little progress. But from 2020 to 2021, I think he made more, more progress. Now, I'm not saying that he transformed his physique, he's probably gonna still be on the smaller side. And no matter how perfectly he peaks or how conditioned he is, I definitely don't see him winning that show because of who else is doing it. I'm gonna show that to you in a second, who else is doing it. But he does look absolutely amazing at this point uh, for his standards. Like, he looks big, full, round and everything like that. But again, the size is gonna be the problem on stage, standing next to the other freaks. Freaks of the nature, there are some really big guys out there. And I don't see him winning California Pro. I can see him being top 3 or top 2 or something like that. But beating Hassan Mustafa, <laughs> yeah, not happening, no way. The only reason why this freak of nature didn't win New York Pro was conditioning. And it seems like he's sharpening it up. So he was prepping during Ramadan. And can you imagine how hard that is? Not eating the entire night, having like 8 hours to put all your meals in. And I don't know how it works with uh, doing cardio or training, when he can train or whatever, but it's definitely making it so much harder. Ramadan is over. I just googled it, it's over. So now he can focus entirely on his prep and do it perfectly, and uh, he can just sharpen it up for the next show. And he says he's not quitting until he wins the show and qualifies for the Mr. Olympia 2021. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure he's gonna win California Pro, so Patrick Moore can maybe win the next show. But this one, against Hassan, nobody really stands the chance. I mean, the guys who beat him at the New York Pro were Justin Rodriguez, who won Indy Pro a week prior to that, who's not gonna be competing anymore, I mean, not this year until Mr. Olympia, and Nick Walker, who also started his off-season. So, even if they showed up, even if they showed up and they weren't exactly perfect, I think Hassan is gonna be much better than New York Pro. I think he could have uh, beaten both of those guys in the next show. I'm not sure about that, but the likelihood is pretty high, because he is getting more conditioned, and uh, he is the biggest freak out of all these guys that I just mentioned. Him winning Cali Pro? Oh, it's gonna be an easy job, no doubt about that. He's sharpening it up for sure, and <laughs> look at the size of this guy. One of the biggest freaks in today's modern bodybuilding, for sure. If you talk about the legs, one of the best legs ever. And he does have the maturity, he has everything, really. He's practicing posing, and he is definitely sharpening up that form. Look at his most muscular, the size of the arms as well. The only flaw that I can see is like narrow shoulders, but that's not really much of a flaw. I mean, he is just so big that he just looks wide because of the size of his delts and arms and everything, and not even mention legs. And he is looking shredded. I mean, definitely sharper than uh, than last week. So in those two weeks between New York Pro and Cali Pro, we can expect big changes from Hassan, and I can definitely see him winning that show rather easily. Okay, now we can see Hari Chupan, what he looks like in his offseason, and it is absolutely insane, I gotta say it, like, he looks like an absolute monster right now. So, he is qualified for the Mr. Olympia by placing fourth last year, but the thing is, last year, he barely got into the United States, he wasn't sure if he's gonna be able to travel, we didn't know if he's gonna be there until the last minute, he didn't know that either, and I don't think he was exactly on, no. But even when Hadi is not exactly on, he can do a lot of damage, guys. I mean, this guy is one of the... He has one of the most high-quality muscle right now in, in the IBB in Pro League. For sure. Like, he has that granity, that grainy look, the depth of the muscle. You can see fibers everywhere. Maybe except for his uh, shoulders. Shoulders do look a little bit suspicious. Maybe arms too, but chest, back, legs... It all just looks absolutely ridiculous, and he's growing. And last year again, he wasn't—he wasn't sure he's gonna be able to travel. If he, uh, as he says, if he moves to U.S. and he's there, he knows he's gonna be competing. He doesn't have to travel in the last minute. Maybe he can relax a little bit more and really push it, push it to the max. If he is maxed out, if Hari is maxed out, if he is as conditioned as he was at the Vancouver Pro, and he's bigger, than, and he looks bigger, he looks improved. Who can beat that? Can Big Ryan beat that? Can Brandon Curry beat that? It's gonna be hard to beat that. And I can't wait to see it. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.